So this is the mask and it was thought up by the students last year when there was a mask shortage here in Thailand. And the important bit really is this side dotty panel, which is covered with a thermochromic coating. And what that means is when the person wearing it gets hotter than 37.5 degrees, this changes color. And the front bit here is also covered with a water repellent coating. So if someone was to sneeze on you, those droplets wouldn't go through. But let me show you some of the technology in action here. So first of all, this is the water repellent coating. Let's see if it works. Water coming, yep, you can see that's not going through at all. So none of those infectious droplets would be brought into your mask. Then here we've got them putting on the second, that special thermochromic coating. And what happens is the original material would be like this, red and white. They then put this coating on two layers, they dry it. And that really is the magic of this mask. And we can see it working in action now. This is a heated mannequin. So I'll put the mask on it. And where you need to be watching really is these side areas. And you should start seeing a change in around 20 seconds. You can already see some of these dots here are changing color and they're going first from blue to white because this outside coating is changing to clear. And I can show you it a bit more. This is similar technology. So this has got the dye on. And if I put this on a heated area, you can see it changing really quickly there. And the reason that they've chosen to use the coating rather than the dye is because these masks with the coating on can go in the washing machine. Now, these are just prototypes. Um, they've only been working on this for a few months, but they cost around two pounds to make. And the big plan in the future is to try and roll this out to the Thai public. So if you're wearing it, you get that initial sign on your mask that your fever's gone up.